So right now it's Friday night, the beginning of a three day weekend. And over this three day weekend, I'm hoping I can get everything, everything in this picture listed. So I have around 50 items that I've picked up over the last couple months and almost everything was picked up at garage sales. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video everything I have. Then this weekend, I'm gonna to try to get it all listed. And then a week from now, I will tell you guys what sold. As I have been doing, I'll list everything on Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. However, this time it'll be a little bit different because instead of listing three items a day, I'm gonna be listing a lot of items a day, somewhere around 20 items a day. And we'll see if that changes what happens and if one platform gets a lot more sales. Facebook Marketplace has been saying they're gonna offer free shipping this weekend. However, the notice was up yesterday and I couldn't, I didn't see free shipping on any of my listings. So I think maybe it's not working in my account, but it is possible that it will start working. And then hopefully that means I'll get some extra sales on Facebook Marketplace since I'm gonna be listing a bunch and then there might be free shipping. So let me show you guys what I found. There's a lot of exciting stuff here. All right, and as I go through these, I will tell you the brand, how much I paid for them, where I picked them up, and I'll also tell you approximately how much the item, how much I think the item will sell for. And the prices I'm gonna give you guys are the mid-range of Poshmark's comp tool, and so it's mid-range of what Poshmark estimated the item would sell for. So the first group of items I'm gonna show you are items that my mom and my sisters, mainly my sister Cassie, picked up at garage sales near my hometown, so very small town Iowa, about an hour from any large city. So you can see what you can pick up even in small town Iowa. And they picked up 23 items for me. I'm gonna start with the ones that had the lowest comps and end with the ones that had the highest comps. So first up are a bunch of Vera Bradley bags. So here they are. There were actually six of them, so I have five here. I listed one, which was a crossbody bag with a penguin print. And I listed it for $25 and I got an offer for $20 within like 48 hours. So that already sold. I also recently picked up a bunch of these at the Des Moines Goodwill outlet. And four of the five sold for $20 plus shipping. So I keep getting that $20 mark for these, which I'm happy with if I can pick them up cheap and sell them quickly. So my sister paid $10 total for all six bags. And I think I'll be able to get $20 each for these three. I'm not sure about these two because they are smaller bags i might get a little bit lower for those but i am hoping that these will sell quickly because i've been having decent luck selling vera bradley bags quickly for around 20 dollars. poshmark's mid-range was 16 dollars in their pricing tool so next up i'm going to group together four pairs of men's slash boys athletic shoes so first are two pairs of under armor cleats my sister picked these up at a sale that had fill a bag for five dollars so i think these were one bag so two dollars and fifty cents each and then these were at the same sale and she threw these in the bag as well and i think again these were two dollars fifty cents each i do see like shoes like this a lot at garage sales and i don't know what sells well and what doesn't sell well which is why i had her pick these up so i can get a little bit of experience on poshmark these had comparable sold list or er, on Poshmark, their comp tool for these was, the mid-range was $16, but that's because these are a youth size and their comparable solds are a lot lower. Whereas these, Poshmark's mid-range was $34, so a big difference just because of the size, I think, between a youth and a men's size. And did I say on the Under Armour cleats, Poshmark's mid-range was $16 on those. All right, moving up to the next high do highest dollar amount, we have these silver jeans so these are definitely a staple of small town iowa silver jeans these are in the style of santorini and they are capri poshmark's mid-range for this style of silver jeans is 17 dollars next pair of boots are these and these are in extremely nice condition. When my sister sent me a picture, I couldn't tell what the brand was, but I figured, I think she paid, yeah, so she paid $5 for these. Like I said, when she sent me a picture, I couldn't really see the brand, but I didn't want to ask too many questions. Like they're out there sourcing for me. So I was like, they look brand new, $5, pick them up. And in person, yeah, they definitely look brand new. This is a brand I have seen before, but haven't picked up. So I'll definitely get some new experience. Poshmark's mid-range for US Polo 
ASSN, what does it stand for? I don't know, <laughs> but the mid range is $21. And this style is called the Rudy High Top. Again, I have no experience, so I don't know how quickly these will sell, but they're, they are in very nice condition. And those are a size 10. All right, next up, like I said, silver jeans are very common in small town Iowa, and they did pick up another pair of silver jeans for me. So these jeans, they're, the style is the Suki High Straight, and they're a size 33 by 32. Poshmark's mid-range for this style was $24. I don't really actually have that much experience with silver jeans, surprisingly, because I do see them a lot, but get, again, I don't pick them up that much, so I am excited to get some more experience with things I do see decently often and see how quickly these things sell and for what prices. So the next item actually already sold because I did list a few of these things this week. So they were a pair of BKE jeans in the style of Stella. They were, I'll put a picture in here, they were an older version of the Stella. They looked just like some jeans I had in high school. So maybe like I graduated 11 years ago. So, you know, 10 to 15 years ago is when I wore them. And Poshmark's mid-range for the style of Stella in BKE is $28. But again, the pair I had were an older pair and I sold them for $20. And my mom and my sister picked that, those up for $2. So next up is a pair of Miss Me jeans. My mom knows I love picking up Miss Me jeans and she picked these up for me for $5. I am a little bit concerned about how they're gonna do just because they have no bling at all, but we'll find out. They are in very nice condition, which again is a big reason she picked them up. She knows I like Miss Me's. They have no hem wear, no crotch wear, no wear whatsoever. They're in the style of the mid-rise boot and Poshmark's mid-range for this style of Miss Me's is $31. Next is this Harley Davidson shirt. It is new with tags and this one, let's see. This one my sister picked up for $2. I know some Harley Davidson sells really, really well and since it still had tags on it, I figured $2, go for it. I didn't realize though that it is, it says Okaboji, which is a city in Iowa, which means it's probably gonna have a smaller audience that'll be interested in it but I'm hoping I can still get somebody in Iowa that will see this and will definitely want it because it is Harley Davidson. Poshmark's mid-range for Harley Davidson shirts was $10 but when I changed it to be new with tags then it went up to $33 so a huge jump however this shirt only retailed for $30 so I don't think I'm actually going to get $33 for it but maybe I can get like $15 for it Okay, the next six items I am very excited about and I'm super happy my mom and my sister picked them up. So first are these boots from Michael Kors. My sister picked these up, I think for five, yep, for $5. They're in very, very nice condition. Oh, that's a sticker residue. And they are a size seven. So when she picked these up, I found I think there was one pair that had sold for 60 and another that sold for 100 of this same style. When I just look for Michael Kors women's boots in a size seven, the mid range on Poshmark is $35, so quite a bit lower, but I am hoping I can actually get more than $35. Um, we will see what happens, but I think these will do well. So these, when my sister sent me a picture, she, she sent me a picture at a garage sale of just a line of boots, and I thought that these were the style The Fat Baby by Ariat. And they aren't, but the comps are pretty similar. So these are Justin boots in the style the Gypsy. And Poshmark's mid-range for this style of Justin boots is $37. And these are size 9.5. I do need to clean them up a little bit, but they're not too bad. And hopefully they'll sell quickly. When I found a pair of Fat Baby... I'm hoping I get that name right, because it would be bad if I just made that name up. <laughs> I think it's Fat Baby. But when I found a pair of those from Ariat, I listed them at 40, I think, or 45. And I had like five offers on them within 24 hours on Poshmark. So they were extremely popular, and I hope these are at least half as popular as the Ariat boots were. Speaking of Ariat boots, they did find two pairs of Ariat boots. Oh, we have one one other pair of shoes first. These are a pair of Brooks running shoes. These are actually picked up by my other sister, my sister Erin. 
and Brooks running shoes can sell really well, especially if they're in really nice condition. These do have a little bit of wear, but for this style on Poshmark, the mid-range was $47. I'm expecting I'll probably get a little bit less than that since these do have, you know, some tread wear and things like that, but still they should sell decently well. And those, they picked these up in the fill a bag sale, so they came out to $1.67. All right, next we have two pairs of Ariat boots. Here are the brown Ariat boots, and they picked these up for $10. They're size 9.5, and, and Poshmark's mid-range, I looked these up as women's. I don't know, when I was looking up comps, I couldn't remember if they were men's or women's. And even now, I'm not sure, I'll have to do more research when I go to list them. But for women's brown area cowboy boots, mid-range on Posh Poshmark was $63. The next are a pair of black area boots. These are, I looked these up as men's. I think that pair I just showed you is probably men's too. But yeah, so here's a pair of black area boots. My mom picked these up for $5 at a garage sale. Mid-range on Poshmark is $93 for men's black area boots. So I don't know if I'll get $93, but that would be awesome if I did. <laughs> Here are the two final items, another staple of a small town Iowa. So I did pay up. I paid $15 for this purse and $18 for this purse. They're both, like, I don't think the owner ever used these. <laughs> there is nowhere at all it's like they just bought them at the store and put them in their closet and kept them there so this one is cross body coach bag i don't know what else to say about it i don't know the style name or anything and then this one is this pink bag again it has nowhere on it at all it's also cross body and it has a wallet with it as well what does it say? Coach Poppy. And Poshmark's mid-range for Coach crossbody bags was $105. And again, I don't know the exact style, so when I go to list this, I'll find out more information about what it's worth. But just in general for Coach crossbody bags, Poshmark said mid-range was $105. So pretty exciting and I'm excited to get these listed and see how much they actually sell for. So the next items are four items that my mom picked up for me. Um, she had a half day so she went thrifting and she I can tell she is really learning what I like because maybe six months to eight months ago when she would send me stuff when she would go thrifting I would say no to probably 80% of it. This time I said yes to everything she sent me because she just has figured out what I like, I think. <laughs> or she, I shouldn't say she's perfectly figured out, but she's definitely figured out certain brands that she knows I want her to pick up. So first are two pairs of dance goes, and these were $5 each. So here they are. They are both brown. One has this print on it and one is just a solid brown. These are both a size 39. And Poshmark's mid-range is $41, and $40 is exactly what I would have guessed. She watches my YouTube videos, so she definitely knew this brand. So it is a pair of men's Rock Revival jeans. If you guys didn't see my men's video, Rock Revival jeans came out by far as the most common men's jeans brands that has sold for over $50 recently on Poshmark. So my mom picked these up for also $5. And they are the style, the Isaac Slim Boot. They're in nice condition. And I'm definitely excited to get these listed. And I'm excited that my mom picked these up for me and like knew immediately that I would want them. <laughs> the final item she picked up was a brand I have actually never picked up before and I'm not really familiar with it. But the comps looked very, very good. So it is this pair of boots from the brand Chippewa. Black harness boots. And you can see she paid $5 for them. <laughs> and Poshmark's mid-range was $102. And when I looked up comps on eBay, they looked similar. Like, these boots should sell for some really good money. And they feel very sturdy, heavy, and I'll definitely clean them up a little bit. But 
I'm I'd be on the lookout for that brand Chippewa the comps were great so the next group of items are items that I picked up at garage sales in Des Moines my mom and my sisters actually drove to Des Moines and we went garage selling here together and I probably picked up like 20 items that day and I've listed almost all of them but I still have six that I haven't listed so I'm gonna show you guys those now and get them listed this weekend so first are these four men's pullovers and there's three different brands here that have all been on my bolo list or my bucket list of brands I want to find and I've never found any of these when I was outsourcing so I did pay up I paid ten dollars each and okay I paid ten dollars each for these three and I paid five dollars for this one so let's start with this one I paid five dollars for this Arcteryx it looks really gray in the camera, but it's actually green. Maybe, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a green color. It's an Arcteryx pullover. Again, I paid $5. Poshmark's mid-range is $42 for an Arcteryx quarters of pullover. So these next two are from the brand Icebreaker, and they're both men's quarters of pullovers. One's a large and one is an extra large, and one of them is merino wool. I was pretty shocked by the comps for these because I just have Icebreaker in my head as a brand that you should definitely pick up. But the comps on Poshmark for Icebreaker men's pullovers, so they show you eight comparable soles and they make their range based on those. So when I went and looked at the comparables, there was, there was one that was $49, one that was $85, and then there were six of them that were either ten or fifteen dollars, so that that shocked me. Six out of eight sold for fifteen dollars or less. So I'm not sure how these are going to do. If you guys have experience with Icebreaker, tell me in the comments. Were those comps off, or is that about right? And I just have it in my head as a good brand, but it's really not that amazing of a brand. I mean, it has merino wool in it, which is a pretty expensive fabric, and they do retail for like one hundred fifty dollars or something. So. Yeah, I was su very surprised when I looked at comps. And then finally is this pullover from the brand Ibex. And this one is a size extra large. Mid-range on Poshmark for Ibex men's pullovers was $73. And these, like, I think the lowest one sold for like $45. So all of the comps were pretty high and the mid-range was $73. So... Now I know Ibex definitely I should pick up and based on the comps I sold Icebreaker I don't know if I should have paid $10 for those so let me know what you guys let me know what your experience is with Icebreaker and Ibex and if what I saw lines up with what you'd expect. Next was a pair of Doc Martens. Where did I put those? Okay. So here they are a pair of Doc Martens shoes. So as I've said in the past I picked up three or pair, four pairs of Doc Martens sold them quickly for $40 to $45. However, I will say I have another pair like this listed that have been sitting. They've been listed at $40 on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. I haven't gotten a single offer on them. So I'm not sure maybe it's the style isn't as popular or maybe those just are too worn. But I think these are very similar to the ones I have listed. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get $40. But like I said, in the past, I have gotten $40 to $45. So the next set of items I picked up was actually on my birthday. Of course, what do I want to do for my birthday? I want to go garage selling. So I woke up, I went to a sale that looked promising, and it was actually a neighborhood sale. And I swear, like, probably 30 to 40% of houses in the neighborhood had a garage sale. It was crazy. It was really, really hard to find a parking spot, and it was hard to drive anywhere. Um, I was only there for two hours, and I picked up... Let's see, I picked up probably around 20 items. I've already listed and sold a couple, but everything I'm gonna show you guys, I haven't listed yet. What I did sell was I picked up a Le Creuset utensil crock for like two or $3 and it sold very quickly for $18. I'll put a picture in here. All right, let me show you guys what else I found. So I got three Athleta items at one garage sale. Athleta is a brand that I'm pretty picky with, but these are all in like new condition. And I paid either two or three dollars. Okay, I paid two, three, and four dollars each. So first is the item I paid two dollars for. It is this tan skirt. Again from Athleta. This one is a size four. And Poshmark's mid-range is $14. 
Then the item I paid $4 for are these blue Bermuda shorts, again from Athleta. They're a size 6 and Poshmark's mid-range is $20. And then next are these black capris. These are also a size 6 and Poshmark's mid-range for Athleta black capris is $25. So I often see Foot Joy golf shoes at yard sales, but they're usually pretty beat up or really dirty. And I've been wanting to try them out to see how well they do. So I found two pairs at a garage sale. They're both a size 11 and a half. They are a little bit dirty, but they're not in too bad of condition. Here they are. Again, they're size 11 and a half. And I mainly picked them up again because I want to get some experience and I paid $4 each for them. So we'll see how they do. Poshmark's mid-range for white Foot Joy golf cleats was $20. And their mid-range for black foot joy golf cleats was $29. So I don't know if that was just a random sample that they're really not that different or if really the black ones do sell for that much more than the white. Again, I'll find out once I get them listed. So the next item is this top from the brand Roper. It is a men's pearl snap top. And unfortunately the size is missing. So I'm not actually sure what size this is. Poshmark's mid-range is $21. Did I miss this item? I definitely missed this item. So I cannot believe I forgot to talk about this item. So this was the sixth item left of what I picked up with my sisters when they were in town in Des Moines. And this was crazy. So I was at this garage sale. Every, all their clothing was 25 cents. I was looking through it and it wasn't anything really exciting. And then I saw this and I'm like, I know some hockey stuff is worth good money. I know some jerseys are worth, worth good money. For 25 cents, this thing is brand new. I'll pick it up and we'll see what it's worth. As I was walking to the car, I looked up comps and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is worth so much. So I'll put some solds on the screen here. Um, but like, I think the two I saw were like 150 and 180 or something. And this one is in like new condition. You can see here's the tag. It has the, like everything looks absolutely authentic on it. It has this thing, which I've looked up the name like three times and I still always forget. And yeah, it's like, I haven't listed it because I'm so nervous to list it. Does anyone get that way when they have a really good item and it just makes them nervous to list it? So it's getting listed this weekend. And I think I'm gonna start it at $200, buy it now and see what happens and we'll just go from there. Okay, let's get back on track. Can't believe I forgot that one, but next from Again, these were the garage sales on my birthday, were a pair of Vans. So I paid $5 for these, and Poshmark's mid-range is $24, and these are a size eight. Next are these two pairs of American Eagle shorts. So I see American Eagle shorts all of the time, and I pass on them, but these I think are really cute styles, and they're more current styles. So Poshmark's mid-range for the Vintage High Rise Festival is $25, and for these, the mom shorts is $27. And so when I was looking up these, I was looking for black mom shorts, American Eagle. If I took off mom shorts from the title, the comps dropped from $27 to $15, showing you how important the style is with American Eagle. So yeah, I think these are both really cute. They're more current styles, and they are both size two. So this next item is a pretty unusual thing for me to pick up. It is a latch hook kit. It is sealed in the box. I'm trying to get some more experience with hard goods, in other words, non-clothing items. I did pay $4 for this, and there were two solds on eBay. They both sold for right around, I think one was $30 with free shipping, and the other was $25 with shipping. So I actually did list this. It's listed right now on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace for $30 and free shipping. Hasn't sold yet, but I did get this listed. Next item is another hard goods that I'm trying out. So it is this Remington hair curler set. So I know some hair curling sets sell well on eBay. So I picked this up and I paid $3 for it. And it looks like these clips are actually worth money on their own. There was a sold listing for $15 with shipping for just the clips. And then there was a sold listing for the curlers and the clips for $38 with free shipping. So we'll see how it goes, but 
again, I'm just interested to learn new things and try out some new things and the other sold listings look promising on this item. All right, we are getting towards the more expensive items from what I found on my birthday and I found some exciting things. So first, so next up, okay, these Adidas Superstar sneakers, the mid-range on Poshmark is $32 and these are a size eight. And I paid $3 for these. Okay, so I got these two pairs of shoes from the same seller. And as soon as I saw them, I knew, I knew they were worth good money. So these are a Converse and Miley Cyrus collaboration. And Poshmark's mid-range is $39, but none of the, the, the comparable listings that they pulled up were actually these shoes. And I found a few solds for these exact shoes that, oh man, I looked at these a few weeks ago, I forgot. But I wanna say like $100 is what I can get for them, I think. I'll put, the, I'll put in some pictures here and go look them up again, but these were definitely um, a good item to pick up. I paid $3 each, $3 for these and $3 for the Doc Martens. So these are pink Doc Martin boots. They're, again, the color is off, like they're much more of a neon pink than what the, the camera's picking up. These are a size six. And Poshmark's mid-range is $87 for pink women's Doc Martin boots. Definitely a super exciting find. I, and like I said, I walked up and I immediately was like, oh, I'm getting those. <laughs> like as I walked up, I saw both of these from far away and I was like beeline straight to them. And I was very excited when I saw they had them listed or listed, they had them priced at $3 each. Okay, next item. I'm not sure if the comps are right on this one, but I'll find out. So, it is this vintage suit set from the brand Diane von Furstenberg. So, Diane von Furstenberg is a very expensive brand. So, this is a vintage tweed jacket and skirt set. Unfortunately, unfortunately the size is missing, so I'm not exactly sure what the size is. I'm going to have to add measurements. Poshmark's mid-range for just a vintage Diane von Furstenberg blazer was $48 and their mid-range for a skirt was $25. So comps look promising and we will see how it does. I paid $3 for the set and again we'll see how it does. And then last item from my birthday was this bag. So this is a leather fry bag. It is a fold over crossbody and the comps on this shocked me in a good way. They were much higher than I expected. So for this bag, I found three of the exact item that sold on eBay and three of the exact item that sold in Poshmark. On eBay, it sold for 30, 130, and 169 dollars. And on Poshmark, the three solds were 60, 76, and 112 dollars. I did not expect, <laughs> when I picked this up, I paid two dollars and I didn't, nope, wrong line. $5. I paid $5 and I didn't have that like rush of excitement because I didn't realize this purse was worth so much money. Like with that many comps over $100 definitely surprised me. But yeah, fry bags, pick them up. <laughs> so the next few items I actually just picked up last weekend, I was going to list. <laughs> I promise I had plans to list. And then my mom texted me and she's like, Amber, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm thinking about driving down to Des Moines. You want to go garage selling? So of course I said yes. <laughs> so my mom drove to town with my sister Erin and we went garage selling and I picked up like around 10 items. I did already list and sell two of those items. So first was an original Game Boy and I saw this Game Boy at a garage sale with a Super Game Boy next to it. I think it's called Super Game Boy. And so I asked the garage sale um, person running the garage sale how much they were and she said oh I'm not sure those are my daughters I'll have to go get her and so I was like okay I've never sold video game stuff I don't know anything I don't know what this is worth I just thought oh original game boy that might be worth something so she went and got her daughter and her daughter's like oh I don't even know if those work you can just have them <laughs> so I felt too guilty to just take them so I paid her a dollar each and again I didn't know if they were actually worth anything look them up and original Game Boys that are working and refurbished are selling for like around $100. The, I found one that was not working and wouldn't turn on that sold for 30 free shipping. 
And then I found a couple that would turn on but weren't working perfectly and were kind of dirty and corroded that had sold for like 40 free shipping. So I got some white vinegar, thank you to Caleb at Phoenix Resale and Drew at Profit Monsters. I couldn't get the Game Boy to turn on and they told me get some white vinegar, put it on a Q-tip and then wipe it on the corrosion and see if that works. So I did that and I was able to turn on the Game Boy and the screen had like a ton of lines on it but it at least turned on. So I listed it, I said it was for parts only and I wrote in the listing that it turns on but there's lines on the screen. And I listed it at 40 with free shipping. And within three hours, I had six offers, but they were all like 20, 25, 30. The highest was a $32 offer. So I decided to turn off offers. And then I decided to bump the price up to $50 with free shipping with offers accepted down to 40, which was my original listing price. And then two days later, someone bought it for the $50 with free shipping. So the Game Boy sold really fast for $50 with free shipping, even though it wasn't fully working. And then the Super Game Boy sold like on the same day, I think two or three days after I listed it. And I can't remember if it sold for 22 or 24. I'll put it on the screen here. But my first test in video games, it went well. Things sold fast and yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys what else I picked up that day. So I got this pair of True Religion jeans. They're in the style, the Billy. And I paid $5 for these. Poshmark's mid-range is $24. And they're in very, very nice condition. And they're a size 28. Next is this Woolrich sweater. So this is a brand I have sold once before. Right at the beginning of reselling. And it did not sell very well for me. So I wrote it off. Stopped picking it up. But watching other people's videos, I've seen people that have done pretty well with Woolrich. So... I decided to give it a ch another chance. This time I actually found a wool item, so I'm hoping that means it'll do better. So here is the brand, and it is this wool sweater, size medium, and it's called the Men's Heather Sprig um, Pullover, and mid-range on Poshmark is $27. And I paid $1 for the sweater. So next item were these jean shorts. I have never found this brand out in the wild in Iowa. I think I've found it, I've gotten it in a thread up box before, but I don't think I've ever found it sourcing in Iowa. So that brand is Rag and & Bone. And these are a pair of women's shorts in a size 30. I might actually try these on first <laughs> and see if I want them. Um, but the mid-range on Poshmark is $33 and I paid $4 for these shorts. They're in like new condition, look like they have no wear on them at all. And then the final four items were four pairs of shoes that I picked up at one garage sale and I paid $5 each. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to get more experience with men's athletic shoes, so I'm starting to pick some things up just to try it out. Unfortunately, at garage sales, I feel weird trying to look at every single detail and look it up, like figure out what the style is and look up a comp for that style. So I have been just picking some up if they look like good prices and possibly good styles so I can learn from them. So here is the first pair of men's shoes I picked up. From my research, I think these are the Kevin Durant 5 tray shoes and Poshmark's mid-range for this style is $28. And those are a size nine and a half. So next up are these men's Air Force One shoes. I know Air Force, I'm pretty sure Air Force Ones are pretty popular right now, which is why I picked these up. Poshmark's mid-range is $35. I am kind of unsure what I'm going to do with these because they have a stink, which I did not notice at the garage sale. So I don't know. I bought a pair, I bought like pre-owned shoes for myself pretty often and there was one pair that smelled so bad and since then I haven't bought any pre-owned shoes. I've only bought new shoes off Poshmark just because I felt so gross when I wore the shoes and I could just smell somebody else's smell. So I don't know if I'm even going to list these because I don't want someone else to have that same experience. <laughs> but yeah, I did pick these up because I know Air Force Ones are pretty in style right now. Or at least were like a year ago. I don't know if they still are. Next are these shoes from Nike. They're the style, the Air Precision 2. They're men's size 8.5 and, and mid-range on Poshmark is $45. And then the final item are these pair of boots from Caterpillar. They're in like new condition other than missing, missing their shoelaces. From the, the style number on the inside, I think they're called 
the Alaska hiking boots. They are a size nine and Poshmark's mid-range was $50. And these are in such good condition, I'm definitely hoping I can get that $50 or more. So those are all the items. I've got lots to list, a lot of shoes to list. And like I said, check back in a week and I'll tell you guys what from this haul sold quickly and which platform it sold on Poshmark, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. And stay tuned because as always, I'll have a new video out soon.